everyone, welcome to another episode of Elevences with MZ, an arts and crafts show that is sure to awaken your right brain. And today I am super, super excited. We are trying acrylic pouring. I have heard so much about this and I have seen so many wonderful acrylic pours on Instagram and YouTube that I just had to try it myself. So first up, the materials that I'm using, I'm using Floatrol as my uh, pouring medium. I am using this silicone and I'm using different kinds of craft paints. Uh, you can try folk art, apple barrel, anything at all. Some metallic paints if you want to. So the first step is to just take some Floatrol and mix it in with your acrylic paint. And this is the kind of consistency that I have. Let's see how well it works. And I've done this with several different colors. You do have to take some time to make sure that the paint and the Floatrol are completely combined. And then I have a lot of white because I like using a lot of white uh, in these pores. So that's basically all I've done right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the silicone bottle and just put in a few drops in each cup that I've prepared. Now I'm not mixing the silicone. I want to see what happens if I don't. So I've just put it inside the cup and I'm not stirring. So next up, take a clean cup and we start adding paint to it. So I'm starting with white, then I'm doing a little bit of this blue. Mm, I want to add a bit of pink and a little bit of this blue. Just a hint of purple A little bit of this neon pink some more white and that is it the moment of truth I am just going to flip this put it down here in the tray and lift my cup and let's see what happens Now I don't really see a lot of cells forming right now, but let's see what happens once I've let the paint sit for just a little while. And remember this, um, in this pour I did not mix the silicone. In the paint. So I see some cells forming over here, a few over here. This area is very interesting. So I'm just going to let this be and I'm going to probably speed this part of the video so that you can see what happens but I'm going to leave the camera on for like another five minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to lift this out of the way and I'm going to let it dry and when it dries I'm going to show you a picture of that at the end of the video. And now I'm going to bring in another canvas. I'm going to bring in the same cup. I'm going to change the colors around a little bit. I 
I did notice that there were some lumps of paint when I was pouring my last canvas. So that's why you have to be super duper careful. Adding some gold in this one. And then some yellow. Some more white. And I'm going to finish with a little bit of pink. And with this one, what I want to do is I want to put some silicone in the cup and then I'm going to pour this. So I can definitely see more cell action here already. And I am loving the way the gold is looking. So, just going to spread this around. I think I got the right amount of paint on this canvas, but maybe a little more wouldn't have hurt. So I'm just going to tilt it back a little bit and that's the fun you can kind of get the paint to move to the place you want. And I can definitely see some cell action going on around here. Really like this part over here. So I'm going to try one more variation right after I wash my hands. I do think I could have used a little more paint. I think this canvas is lacking some paint. I'm using plastic uh, trays to do my pores and I'm finding that it's super neat and clean but you are seeing a bit of a reflection over here in the plastic I apologize for that so this one I'm going to do with each paint color stirred so that the silicone is mixed in well and I'm also going to add a dash of silicone on top and I'm trying to use more paint than I did um, paint to canvas ratio and I'm doing like a Or like that okay so this one was a complete disaster I'm just going to show you it's absolutely no cells forming see over there so no cells at all big disaster so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the same um, cup, I'm going to add more paint to it and before I do that I'll add more silicone. So again with paint pouring it's a lot of fun um, but do experiment yourself also to see what kind of um, finishes you like best and what happened when you tried. different kinds of recipes did you put the silicone before did you put it after okay so this time I'm gonna try this 
on a board. You can do that also. You don't have to use canvas all the time. And again, just going to lift. And already I can see the cells forming on this one there you go so much better effect I'm really sorry about the glare I, I am going to put some uh, close-up photographs at the end of the video so there is that one and I'm just going to put this aside to dry as well and as you can see I've made a beautiful mess on my um, table over here in the tray and I'm hoping that once this dries, I can lift it off and use it as an acrylic skin on something. You can actually cut little pieces and maybe even use them in jewelry. So I will update you on what happened with this piece once it dries. It is a plastic tray, so it should easily peel off. It shouldn't be a problem. So we're going to try this one more time. And this time... I'm going to mix in the silicone in each cup and stir that and then put the colors together. So I'm just adding some more white to my cup because I used a lot of that. So make sure you stir it well. So again, I'm putting a little bit of silicone in each cup but this time round I'm actually going to be mixing it in you can also see what happens when you add a little bit of water actually I think I might just do that I'm taking a little bit of water and mixing that in each cup Again, the fun with something like this is the experimentation. What's the worst that can happen? You will waste a little bit of paint. That's really not that bad. And I think this will give us, uh, adding the water will give us a smoother consistency also. So that actually might help a lot. But we'll just see in a moment. And just make sure that you have a, a your workspace covered because this is messy and that you haven't gotten a manicure done recently because again your hands are going to get messy but i think it's worth it super worth it the cells are actually forming very well on the tray over here but like I said at the end of the video, I will add close-ups of everything so that you can see properly. I'm going to go for a clean cup. I actually use these plastic cups that are very easily um, washed so that I can use them again and again. Okay. So starting with the white. Then putting in some pink. I have a feeling this might be the best pour, but we shall see. I'm not going to finish this off with any um, white. I'm just going to just pour this now on this. Thank you. 
definitely different and I'm going to give it a few seconds for the paint to cover the board and for the cells to form the effect is a very very different I can see a lot of little cells forming I guess that's what happens when you um, mix in the silicone you have a lot of tiny cells and I'm, I actually really really like this so uh, I'm going to share all of the close-ups of all of these uh, panels with you at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will give acrylic pouring a try. It really is not that difficult. It's all about experimentation and just playing around with paint. Uh, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.